Welcome to MetSim. In this video, we will see the unboxing, installation, and usage of the MetSim Pro device. Let's open the bag together. Inside the bag, you'll find the MetSim Pro device, the USB cable for connecting to the computer interface, the 12 volts adapter, the 12 24ths of a volt battery input cable, the current box 1 to 2 for injectors, and the connecting cable, test volt probe, component test probe, MNC 100 and 200 sockets for easy connection in gasoline cars, X extension cable, and ECU cables for different situations. Afterwards, we connect the USB cable from the box to the Metsim Pro device in the computer, plug in the 12 volts adapter to the power source in the device, and then activate the power switch. Before installing the device, we need to visit metsimpro.com and click on the Customer Area section, then we click on Register New Customer using the email used during the purchase. After registering, we can access the customer area using the provided information. Then, we go to the Downloads section and download and install the latest version of the program. Once installed, we use the username and password created during registration to access the program interface. In this section, we'll find lists of control units and vehicle information. We can see vehicle details such as the manufacturer and other information. Clicking the orange question mark in the top right corner provides explanations for the symbols at the bottom. If the OBD icon is active, it means we can establish a diagnostic connection to the control unit on the table. If the crank icon is active, it means we can simulate a real vehicle connected on the table. If the ECU info icon is active, it provides internal information about the control unit's components and voltages. If the schema icon is active, it means that pin numbers have been added to the ECU socket. If the info icon is active, it indicates whether we have access permission to the selected control unit. Through the ticket tab, we can add a new control unit or fill out the form when facing any issue. If you want to add a new AQ, you need to fill out the form and submit a ticket. You can also fill out the form regarding other problems. In the search box above, we can search using the control unit's circuit code and access related information. When selecting a control unit, we'll encounter alerts to follow for Metsim Pro device installation. First, we connect the current box 2's cable. Make sure the MNC socket is not connected. and then connect the 12 24 volt battery input cable, adjusting the voltage to the desired value.
After performing these steps, we can establish the connection between the ECU and Metsim Pro using the diagram within the program. The blue box number 1 in the diagram represents the Clemens number in the Metsim Pro device. The turquoise box above it represents the name of the socket of the control unit. The orange box above it represents the pin number inside the ECU socket. And as shown in the initial diagram, we connect the AQ connection. Once the control unit we want to test is disable the immobilizer system, the connections in the initial diagram are sufficient. If the control unit has the immobilizer system, we would need to make the connections shown on communication pages 1 and 2. After making the connections, we can turn on the system using the on-off button on the control panel. Start the car using the ignition button. And then press the start button. The potentiometer on the Metsim Pro device can be used to accelerate the car. When encountering any issue, we can use the ECU info section to find information about the control unit, including injector, sensor, valve, fault lights, current schematics, and other issues related to microchips. <laughs>